Hi everyone, Paul at ISO. Welcome to another At The Bench update. So I think it's been just under a week uh, since the last bench update. So I'm back again. Uh, I showed you the Peugeot 307. I was going to be building with Sam. That is there behind me now. Finished. Finished it about an hour and a half ago. Uh, absolutely lovely kit. Lovely scheme. Beautiful Tammy kit and lovely looking car as well. And it's turned out very, very nice. Um, tried out the new 2K Clear. I bought it. I think I mentioned that last time. I think I bought it afterwards. I can't remember. I might have. Uh, it's this stuff. There you go. That was uh, £20 delivered off eBay for a litre of the clear, half litre of the hardener, and 250ml of the thinner. And it's beautiful. It's worked out really nice. It sprays well, um, dries well. Gave it a quick polish with some Novus, uh, the fine scratch remover, and a quick Tammy wax. Absolutely beautiful finish. Certainly on par with the Mipa, which cost three times as much. Um, but we'll see, time will tell. So I've got loads of the Meepa left, so I've got plenty to play around with. But for £20 delivered, absolutely brilliant finish. Highly recommend it. Uh, if I think I'll put the link to it in the description of the video down below. Uh, but if not, go on eBay and just look for Pro Range 2K. And you should see it for 19.95. It's from a place in Chester in the UK, which isn't far from me. Um, but yeah, absolutely brilliant. We'll talk about that in a minute when we get on the turntable and have a look. Uh, like I say, it's late now. I just jumped out of the hangout with the guys. Thought I'll do my video now and get it out of the way. And uh, we can crack on with other stuff. So we'll get on the turntable in a second and have a look. Uh, next project up for me. Uh, my touring car build still ongoing for another couple of weeks. And uh, there's a couple more builds I'd like to get in, but I'm probably only going to get one in. So I'm going to do this kit, which is Tamiya's Trampio uh, RS500. Not the most inspiring of schemes out of the box. Uh, why Tamiya chose this one, I don't know. There's loads of other good cars out there, but this one was chosen for some reason. Uh, I'll never do that scheme because I hate it. I think it's horrible. So we've got that kit. Uh, we've got that paint as well. go zero paint. And um, that's Labatt's blue, so that gives you away what it is. And there's very, very nice decals from SK. The car's not that colour. The car looks like this. Tim Harvey's car, which is absolutely beautiful. Really nice. And uh, like I said, we've got these lovely decals. Again, we'll put the overhead camera on a bit and have a proper look at these for you. But looking forward to starting this, and I'll be starting the first thing tomorrow. Absolutely lovely. So very nice. One of my favourite cars, the RS500. Anything fast and forward. And yeah, you've got me interested in it, so that's the next build for me. Um, the bike's still on going. I've had a bit of a nightmare uh, yesterday. I spent 10 hours decaling the other day to 2k it, and it's kind of crinkled up a few of the decals. It's salvageable, just needs a bit of work, i.e. I'm going to have to respray and re-decal it. Now luckily, if you remember back, my kit came with two sets of decals, which is lucky. Um, so yeah, some of it's going to get resprayed in the yellow, which is used on the wheel arch, um, which I'll show you, show you next time. I'm not getting it out now. Uh, I'm too pissed off of it to be honest. Um, so I'm going to respray some of the yellow because that's mainly where it crinkled up. All the yellow decals for some reason reacted. I've not had a problem with the 2K with the 50 odd, nearly 50 odd cars I've done with it. Um, no reaction whatsoever, and yet some for some reason I did with this. Um, so yeah, the tank was the worst offender, the front tank covered, this was my kit one, so I stripped it, unfortunately the Mr. Hobby Level and Thinner stripped the paint and also removed all the glue and cracked it in half, not very well either, so I've stolen another one and another one of my bike kits, uh, I've got the exact same kit but different decals, so you've got to respray that, the two side frames I'm not happy with, so they're going to be stolen out the same kit as well, and I'm going to re-decal it and respray it. Uh, I'm a bit pissed off about it, as I already said, and I'm not very happy at all. And uh, realizing I definitely don't enjoy the bikes as much as cars. So, yeah, I don't want to give up on them, but yesterday, oh, the air was blue, and I was considering selling all those bike kits behind me there and thinking I'll stick to cars. But we'll see, we'll see how this goes. So, yeah, hopefully, next time when I come back, when this year is done, uh, I'll have rectified the problem with the bike. Uh, where the decals haven't cream card, it looks stunning, absolutely beautiful. Um, but I'm not going to have a look at it because I'm too annoyed about it. But we'll be back next time to have a proper look. Um, right, so let's get this on this turntable and have a close look at the kit and the decals we're going to do next. Okay, so this is Tamiya's 124th Peugeot 307. Now, I've built this kit before. I've done the box scheme, um, which was great. Lovely red Marlboro scheme. And I bought a few more of the kit. I've got this one, obviously. I've got another two more on the stash and another few decal sets as well. Uh, this one really caught my eye just because of the striking orange and I um, thought it was a lovely looking scheme. Studio 27 decals, made by Cartograph for them. 
and absolutely brilliant. They went down no trouble whatsoever and it's a beautiful looking car, it really is. Great kit, great car and I'm more than happy how this has turned out. So, it's brand new UMP white primer, um, clear coated in a mixture of Tamiya TS31 and TS14 mixed to I um, for the uh, XI uh, Expert colour. Uh, there was a colour match colour, but I wasn't paying £12 to get it delivered for a single bottle of paint, so I mixed my own, and I think I've done a pretty good job. Uh, like I say, decals went down, no issue at all, absolutely beautiful, conform nicely, laid down nice, and yeah, they look great. Uh, it's clear coated in my uh, Pro Range 2K Clear, the cheapest stuff I bought off eBay. And that went down absolutely fantastic. Um, slightly different way to the other one. Um, it's one wet tack coat and then two full wet coats 15 minutes apart and thinned 5% and 10% respectively. Uh, it's a thinner coat near the end and it just went down absolutely great. Uh, it's had a very light polish with the Nova's Fine Scratch Remover, a Tamiya Wax, and it's come out really well. Uh, the wheels were primed UMP White Primer, then sprayed in Tamiya TS26 and clear coated with the body. And the chassis roll cage, uh, sorry, the chassis underneath was sprayed in the orange. The interior uh, roll cage, etc., was sprayed in a silver colour. And I've added some Studio 27 P belts and ribbon. I uh, went for the larger belts this time, went for the 3mm stuff because uh, I've got loads of the Studio 27 PE to use and they're 3mm harnesses which when you scale down 3 inch is actually 3mm um, and they look good, you can just about see them, you can see them coming through the back to the roll cage and you probably just about see it on the seat, there they are say belts and they went on, really nice, so really nice, really enjoyed the kit that's a very striking scheme. Now, the other difference of this kit as well, it's got 15 spoke Oz wheels as opposed to, the, I think, the 10 spoke, the standard kit. Um, so, I had a spare set of those from a Subaru, so I put those on. Uh, the only difference is this kit is unusual. I think because it's a metal base, uh, you usually have your poly caps inside the wheel hub and then the wheels have a stud that push in. All the way around on this one, the poly caps are on the wheel and they push into the rim of the uh, the wheel hub itself. So to fix that, I put the poly caps on the wheels. I used a plastic tube cutter size to uh, fit over the poly caps and that fitted into the hub almost perfectly. A little bit of CA glue, careful positioning, and they've gone absolutely on, oh, absolutely perfect. Really nice. Um, and that's it really. So very nice kit, very nice scheme and a kit I would highly recommend. Um, if you can find one, they're out of production unfortunately, but they do appear from time to time and it's well worth picking up. Really nice kit. Right, let's have a look, a look at this Sierra then. So, this is the base kit. Uh, it's the 19, I'm sure it's 18 now, like the other one. Um, boxing of Sierra uh, RS500, Ford's Group A touring car. Absolutely lovely car, one of my favorite cars. Very, very simple kit. So. You've literally got the body shell, the lovely rims, uh, half a roll cage because most of it's missing, so I'll scratch build that like I did last time. Um, chassis, wheels, the tub, etc. And that is it. Literally, there's one, two, four sprues. It's a very, very uh, mini minimal kit. These awful Trampio decals, um, which I've got three sets of. So, might offer those up on eBay for somebody who may need them. You never know. Um, rather give somebody the decals need and I get a little bit of money back for them. These aren't cheap kits, um, these are going for between 60 and 70 pounds and uh, yeah they're not cheap at all. Uh, white body shell on this offering which is why I've got these because all the aftermarket schemes I've got are um, light coloured I didn't want any bleed through. Uh, I've already done a Texaco scheme as you saw a while back so that's why I've got this. So yeah very minimal kit and um, the last one I built like I say I did all the extra roll cage, added the fuel line, so on and so forth. Um, whether I do that again, I probably will. We shall see. Um, I've got the Zero Paints match colour as well. Uh, I hope it is anyway. <laughs> it better be the right colour. It looks it. Um, for the M3 and the Sierra, I've got the M3 as well with the scheme as well to do a later date. So, handy to have the paint and these lovely SK decals. Uh, from Frankie over in Hong Kong, so very very nice. I'll show you these as well. I've had a quick look. It's not the most difficult to decal schemes, thankfully. Um, so it shouldn't really pose 
any real dramas and if these go on like the last lot did yeah that'd be brilliant they are lovely lovely decals and uh, like i say not a lot to go thingy there um should be pretty cool just thought as well i didn't show one other thing as well that comes with this and i've got to find it is the uh, right hand drive dashboard as well that comes with these decals i forgot about that um so a nice touch as well very well cast very well mold um thingy piece of resin it's not perfect but it came with the decals and the decals were like 16 pounds posted so they're gonna prove no bother at all they laid down lovely last time and like i say it's tim harvey's car and it's gonna be very very nice looking forward to this one uh, another iconic kit and this thing's gonna look stunning too kade uh, that blue is gonna really show uh well so looking forward to that so like i say hopefully when you come back next time um this will be done. Well, that, that'll be the plan, and uh, we can have a look and see what we think. So there we go. There's my Labat Sierra. So I'll take you back to me. Right. So there we go. Uh, very happy with the uh, 307. It really is a good kit. If you can get your hands on one, get yourself on. It goes together. Superb. No problems at all. Really, really nice. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this RS500 together. Really am. Been looking forward to doing this one for quite some time. Uh, I always plan, I also plan to do Tim Harvey's uh, Listerine E30 and BMW as well. Uh, whether I have time, I doubt it. I could do it because this is a week's work and that'll be a week's work, but I don't want to do one straight into the other. But we'll see. You never know what happens. But I will definitely get this done. I think that'll be my fourth or fifth entry into the bill, which isn't bad in two months. But uh, yes, there we go. So we'll be back next time. Have a look at that Sierra. Uh, obviously, check out our Facebook page and forum, Inter International Scale Modeler. Uh, they were free to join. Uh, well run, uh, no idiots on there, bar me. And uh, yeah, very friendly, very fr uh, kind atmosphere on there. A lot of helpful people. Uh, check out upretail.com as well. Uh, brand new website, Lee set up. Uh, we've now got loyalty points, called Sprue points. Um, so head on over there and have a look. It's much easier to navigate now. A lot nicer to look at and just easier to find stuff, which has always been a little bit of a niggle on there. Um, check out my Paul ISM Facebook page as well. It's my personal modeling page. You've got the modeling hangout group as well for joining the off air hangouts. And of course, our Friday night show every Friday, half seven UK, half eight Europe, one thirty central US. Uh, we go live every week, build nights, and a full show alternating week to week. Uh, there's a Facebook page set up for that. And like I say, come join our off air hangouts as well. Uh, it's great fun. I've literally left ours about half an hour ago. Been in there all night, muddling away, talking to the guys, having a laugh and a joke. Come and join us. All you need is a webcam, a Google Plus account, good sense of humour, and pop on over and uh, join us as well. No. Don't forget to leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, let us know what you like or you'd like to see or anything different. I've got a few reviews coming up in the pipeline. It's not cars either. Um, so hopefully they'll be good as well. We've got some new sponsors for the uh, live show, which is brilliant. I'll give you more details on those as and when I know. And uh, that's it. Like I say, leave a comment. I do read them all, every single one, and I reply back to the ones that require a reply. Or if we've got a bit of free time, I'll reply to everybody. Uh, but please leave a comment. Thumbs up, share it, whatever you want to do. Please, I read everything and appreciate all the feedback. And there we are. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.